so hello everyone and welcome to audit shifa finance and operation module wise training series so in this new episode we discuss about the trade agreement concepts in direct shifa finance and operations in trade agreement we have two aspects one is for the vendor and the second one is for the customer so in this episode we discuss about the vendor side of the trade agreement so by using the trade agreement we set the prices for the specific item which is also called as a purchase price for the item in order to create a trade agreement we go to the procurement and sourcing module let's collapse all inside setup we select the price and discount and we click on the trade agreement journal names so let's create our trade agreement journal name for the purchase price click on the new enter the name purchase price in the description as a purchase price and we set the relation type as a purchase price the other setups like line discounts multi line discounts and total discounts we will discuss in our future episode so now we select as a purchase price we save close this button now we move to the other important parameter we need to enable activate price and discount for many user facing the issue in trade agreement that even after posting the purchase trade agreement successfully still the prices are not shown in the purchase order level so that issue is facing because you forgot to turn on these parameters for purchase price trade agreement work properly so the first option we enable in case if you have a specific item and the specific item has a different purchase price for the vendor so in this scenario this parameter it needs to be enabled the second parameter is a vendor group vendor group you create one vendor group and assign this vendor group or tag this vendor group to the multiple vendor which have the same nature in that case your item specific price will be shown to the vendor group which included in that vendor group and the third in the last option is all vendors this option in use when you have a different purchase price for the all the different vendor so in that scenario you need to enable this parameter once this setup is done your most of the basic setup for the trade agreement has been completed so let's we again collapse now we move to the actual creation of the trade agreement for the item so we go to the prices and discounts we select the trade agreement journal here we create our trade agreement journal for the item so let's select the trade agreement journal name purchase price we can save our description will be auto populated from the trade agreement journal name and also the relation is populated automatically now our journal has been created now we need to create a line so we select our journal and click on the lines so inside lines we have specified the item and the vendor relation relationship here so in the first column relationship will be auto populated from the journal the second column we have option like all table and group in the party code type all specified that your purchase price of the item are same for the all the vendors in that scenario we select the all if you want to specify the purchase price for the specific vendor group then you select the option group and the last one is a table table is in use when you want to set the purchase price for particular vendor so now we select the table once you select the table in the account section you will see the, all the list of the vendors you have created so we will use our first vendor which we created in the first episode next party code and item relationship for the item for which you are setting the purchase price so here also we find the same option all group and the table all means that you are specifying the item price for the all the item in a single line the second one is a group you created the item group and assign this item group to the multiple items and you you can set the prices in the single line for the item group and the last one is for the table table represent that you are set the purchase price for the single item so i'll set it as a table in the item relationship you will find the multiple items so we'll set it as a first item and in the amount in currency we set as a 100 usd so our basic trade agreement is created now so here relationship is a purchase price we set 0001 as a vendor this vendor have item relationship with the with surface pro product and that product prices is 100 for this specific vendor now we click on the validate if you have multiple line items in that purchase trade agreement you can select validate all items or you, if you want to validate only single item you can select the validate selected lines so i'll select as a validate all items click on okay now we click on the post button now you can see our purchase price trade agreement is not visible here because here show is not posted so our trade agreement is posted now so in the posted posted on date newest to oldest so you can see here our purchase price trade agreement is posted successfully so let's check the price of that item 
so we move to the product information management set release product we select the item inside purchase tab you have option of purchase prices so we select the purchase prices option so you can see over here our single line of the purchase price is created successfully and the price are 100 usd you can also see the purchase price for the specific vendor to check this you need to again go to procurement and sourcing inside all vendors select the vendor for which you want to see the purchase price inside procurement tab in the agreements you have trade agreements so here you can see our trade agreement for this vendor first line is 100 mbr which we have created let's we again go to the product information release product select the item select the purchase price so I'll now I'll show you how you can edit this trade agreement and make a changes in the purchase price or any any aspect of this trade agreement so select our line which you want to edit click on the edit selected line select the trade agreement journal name we select our purchase price and click on ok so in this scenario our selected line will be copied to the new trade agreement so we can edit the any aspect of the trade agreement so we we'll click on the edit button we change the price to the $200 and we add one more aspect here site and the warehouse to make purchase order enable for the site and warehouse specific item purchase prices you make sure that storage dimension group have enabled the purchase trade agreement to check this I'll show you how you can enable this open the same item for which we are setting the prices inside storage group dimension group we click on our storage dimension group for the purchase price we have enabled this both the parameter for the site and warehouse so if this parameter is not enabled you can't set the purchase price for the site and warehouse level to know about detail information about the storage dimension group you can check out our playlist in the product information management so let's again we move to the our trade agreement journal here we set our site as a distribution and set the warehouse 22 now again save validate all lines now I'll post again this so you can see here our new trade agreement is edited properly with the site warehouse and the new price is a $200. So that's it for this video. In the next upcoming videos, we discuss about the line discount trade agreement journal, total discount trade agreement journal and other important features in the trade agreement. So stay tuned with us and thank you for watching.